The first encounter is Callie, and you're going to learn a lot of things that are going to transfer to later portions of the raid. First off, as you enter the room, you're going to notice that there are symbols in the center of the room. There are pairs of symbols, and you'll notice that there are some plates that are in different areas of the room that have single symbols above them. And as far as the symbol callouts, each fire team is going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to put an infographic that shows an example of what some fire teams do. My fire team doesn't even do necessarily all of these. In fact, some of ours are pretty inappropriate. I won't share those on the video, but... Knowing these symbols is going to be really important. Deciding what's going to, what your fire team is going to use is going to be important because these are repeated throughout the raid, similar to how Vow Disciple is. So the easiest way to do this is have your fire team group up into three groups of two. And what you're going to want to do is, again, remember there are symbols that are around the different plates, and then there are pairs of symbols in the middle. You're going to want to go to one area of the room. Let's say pick an area in the middle of the room and stand on those two symbols. Wherever you're standing, you're, you're, you and your buddy, that place is between DPS phases. You're always going to go back to figure out what your next symbol is because the symbol that you're covering in Cali is going to change. Now, you could do this however you want. This is the easiest way, especially for new players, not to get confused about what they have to cover because they're not going to know all the symbols at the very beginning. So you go to that area and you pick what symbol you and your buddy are going to uh, cover. Then you and your buddy are going to look around the room and there will be two plates that have that symbol, just one symbol. One person's going to go to one area of the room, one person's going to go over. Don't get on the plate yet, but that's what you're going to do. Everyone's going to do that and get towards their plate. When you're ready to start the encounter, what you're going to do is everyone's going to jump on the plate. You notice on the plate that there are two areas that look like they're kind of glowing um, with like taken stuff. And you'll notice that there's one area that's clear. You're going to want to stand in the area that's clear during the encounter, and that area will change. It'll be in the middle, then it'll be in the left, then it'll be in the right. So it's very important because if you're in the area with the Taken and it does its rotation to, to basically switch those, that will kill you, which will obviously require someone to have them to come in and res you. So you'll want to make sure you do that. The other thing is ads are going to spawn around you. You'll need to kill those. And I would recommend something that's good for arrow clear, like a submachine gun, you know, whatever you're comfortable with, that's going to have a lot of ammo, probably a primary. Cali will also warp around the location and will at some point land near you and potentially try to boop you off the plate. If you were off the plate, you just need to get back on. As you get through your rotations, at the very end, you're gonna see a knight that shows up. So this is probably where you'll want something like either a grenade or a shotgun or, or fusion rifle, something where you're gonna be able to do damage really quickly and take it out. Once you're finished with that knight, that means your plate is done. All six of the plates have to be complete or something else happens, which I'll explain in a minute. If at the end you're done and someone's still struggling, like they either need rezzed or they're struggling with their night or they're not completely through their cycle, just have those people call out and you can run over and help them. You have plenty of time to do this. Once you've finished all six plates or you're out of time, you'll notice there's a message in the lower left-hand corner around Callie's weapon. That means everyone goes into the middle. Once you're in the middle, that's where you do DPS. Now, she's going to have three mini phases in here where you can do DPS to her. But I would say for damage, there's a couple ways you can do this. Some people use swords. She does have a, a boot mechanic, so you maybe want to use a or something like that. Some people use shotguns. Probably the safest and easiest way is probably using linear fusions, right? That's what the meta is for most things. Keep in mind, she does move around quite a bit. So using a divinity or just having good aim is going to be really, really important. Now, towards the end of that DPS phase in the middle of the area, you're going to see another message up in the lower left-hand corner, and you'll see Callie kind of looks like she's summoning something. That's the wipe mechanic. To protect yourself from the wipe mechanic, you actually need to do the next part of the encounter. So for this, what you're going to need to do is that whatever, whatever area she's above, you'll notice there's three areas that have doors, okay? Whatever area she's above, those doors are going to open out. That's why it was important for you to kill the knights. If you've killed all six knights, six doors will open. If you don't, one person's out of luck. You're just going to die. And you can't have two people in the same location. If you look at the doors, this is how we handle it. If you look from left to right and top down, so in other words, the top row go left to right and then go to second row, left to right, we count from one to six. And before the encounter, we pick a number like one through six. Some people can do it by their fire team order or you can just decide, right? Obviously, one and six are very easy. The reason you have to do it this way is that the doors that show up, there's more than six doors, and you never know which ones are going to show up. So you basically count off. So the first one on the top row on the left is going to be one. The last one you have on the bottom row on the right is going to be six. You very quickly get into those doors, let those finish up, and then you can come back out. And that starts another sequence. One of the things that we do if we want to get our, our, our supers back is if we have someone with tether, 
when you come out of there, there's gonna be a ton of ads in the middle. Have the person with the tether drop their tether and kill the ads. And you can get a ton of orbs so people can get their supers back. That completes a complete phase of her damage. You can do that. You'll see there's three sets of doors. You can do that a total of three times. And obviously you can do that a fourth time without the doors. It's almost like an enraged mechanic. Just do that, continue doing that, remembering that when you go into the next phase of the encounter, you're gonna to need to go back to the same area you start at the very beginning or look in that area because the symbol you and your buddy are doing on the plate is going to change. Do this enough time and you'll complete Cali Encounter. So again, guys, if you like these videos, feel free to check out my other raid guide videos. I have an entire list where you can get those if you're struggling with other raids, but that's a video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.